Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on July 18th of 2024, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings us the return of the summer event, as well as a couple of other little things. So quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel of the Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And our first events are actually going to be for those of you that have successfully upgraded this little sword thing to at least the prize stage. So for those of you that have completed the tarnished sword upgrading, if you press the Y key on the keyboard, you will see a bunch of rewards that you can claim right now. So all of the rewards from pride to pen uh, can be claimed by anybody that's hot hit the uh, pride level. Now, if you still haven't hit pry yet with the sword, you do have time to upgrade it and you can continue to upgrade it until you can turn it in as long as you have enough of the event light auras left to do the exchanges for. But yeah, if you successfully completed the event, make sure to claim all these extra bonus reward items that are sitting right here in your challenges menu with the Y key on the keyboard. Now, the next event is a BDO Vision 2024, which is definitely a play on Eurovision, so nice little uh, thematic event right there. But for this one, what you need to do is pick a city in Black Desert to represent, by heading over to their Discord server, selecting your favorite cities, giving them their preference of the top three, you'll get selected one of them to represent, you'll make your own music, original music piece, compose it in Black Desert, post a video of it on YouTube, post the link into the Discord channel, the songs will be played during the Twitch live stream, and the best songs will be selected by the viewers, that'll win BDO Vision representing whatever city they are representing in game. Which is pretty cool, little, uh, little BDO Vision, Eurovision, little spin-off type deal. Uh, neat little event if you like the music composition system. The next several events are all themed around the Termian crossover Sea Palace event that is going on right now. So essentially, the last couple of summers we've had Termian Beach events and Sea Palace events, and this summer we're just mixing them all together. So for this you're going to need to station two different sets of characters. One character is going to require to be located at the Sea Palace event area, which can be accessed by jumping off of this rock up here just off to the side of Valia. So here's Valia, you jump into the water right here into the swirling sea. And that'll take you over to the Sea Palace. The second event region is going to be the Termian Beach. And the Termian Beach is located right over here. You will see Termian Beach, Termian Night Market going on right now. So you'll want to post up two characters at both of those locations. So starting off with the Sea Palace, when you get dropped off into this event area, you'll have an NPC that you can talk to right over here on the right to initiate the quest series. This will kind of just guide you around the area. And after you've completed that little tour of the palace, you can then do one of the two events that are available in this area this year. The first one is the same exact race event from the last time they ran this event. I am currently outside of the window for it, but essentially, where I am right here on the map, so you are going to see an NPC called Darong right here. So you can see, like, in the video from last year, there's this NPC Darong that spawns in. Right here by this little uh, lantern. Interact with that NPC will allow you to wager on a race that is going to happen. You'll bet whether the tortoise or the hare are going to win. The race will happen, and if it wins, you get rewards from the NPCs in the area. So pretty straightforward with that quest line. Again, once every hour, five minutes before it, you go and place your bets. Uh, it's 10.05, so I just missed it here in my time zone. The second event is Baby Vel. You'll need to accept it from this NPC right here, Durong. Each week, you'll be able to do Baby Vel two times, and completing it both times is going to give you the Termian Sea Palace seals, as well as a reward bundle. The reward bundle has a chance for a bunch of cool items in it. So again, this is why you're going to want to keep a character parked here, because every hour you can do this one event, as well as whenever Baby Bell spawns, you can do the Baby Bell boss. So pick your favorite alt, throw him over here, and uh, move on into the next region, the Termian Beach itself. So again, Termian Beach right here on the map, uh, located just north of Calpheon. And when you uh, load into your character that you're going to send into this region, press the comic key on the keyboard to bring up the Black Spirit, head over to the quest tab, event quest tab, and you're going to see the quest Event to Termian, as well as a quest called Event Morning uh, Sea Palace. So accept both of those quests. For the Event to Termian, go ahead and press the Black Spirit to bring it up. Select the chat option, a beach with crashing waves. Go back to the quest tab on the Black Spirit, Event Termian O. This will bring up a quest marker that will pad you over to an NPC located here, so just walk on over to them. And if you don't get the quest marker, you can right click the banner on the right side over here. Interact with that NPC, run it down the log with the dialogue options, hand over the invitation, and uh, pick whichever one of these die you want, and you'll have completed the first portion of this event. The next event is a spin on the red battlefield, where you will be morphed into a Papu or an Otter. You can only queue up for this red battlefield during certain times. To do it, go to the War tab, and you will see the red battlefield up at the top. 
select the Sandcastle Showdown, it's got certain timers whenever it'll start, jump into it, talk to the NPCs, complete the quest, pick up some more of these Termian Seals while you complete it once per week. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. We then have a fishing zone, so an AFK fishing spot that has awesome items you can pick up for tons of money. People tend to make a very good amount of money during this time. And you also have two quests that you can pick up every day as well to redeem even more of these die. Although I guess it's multiple, so it's dice. But these two quests are available right here, right by the water where you can do the AFK fishing. So there's your AFK fishing spot. Uh, right here, you can talk to these two NPCs to pick up the quest for the AFK fishing. In addition to all of these events over here, you also have a respawn of the shops that were available last week, so you can get even more of these little items as well. So there's tons of buffs right there for combat. Over here we have a bunch of buffs for life skilling. And in general, they're pretty nice to stock up on, so make sure to pick them all up over here in this uh, shopping section. Now finally, what are you doing all these events for? And the answer is going to be some pretty nice items if you're looking to progress your horses. So right here on the redeem items tab, which if you don't know where it is, Top of your screen right here, Manage Currency Menu. You can see my mouse wiggling. Manage Currency. Turn me into Sea Palace Seals. You can exchange them for a bunch of different items. Um, a Manor Decoration, as well as items for enhancing horses. Life Enhancement Kits. Gear Enhancement Kits. A bunch of different items. And if you don't like any of this stuff, you can also exchange it just for straight up memory fragments. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the events this time around. We can now get into the patch notes themselves. And the patch notes themselves don't bring a ton with it, so again, big stuff is the events, but a couple of class weeks, specifically on the Dosa, we have some flow improvements, we have some cooldown reductions, we have some damage scaling improvements, general overall combat improvements, and yeah, just a, a lot of like quality of life type stuff for the Dosa. The music life skill, or musicianship, will be adjusted as far as how much EXP you gain for completing different tasks and whatnot. They're taking it out until they get it all set up, so uh, it'll, it'll come back better and stronger, hopefully, in the near-term future. If you're a big time horse trainer, you can now view all the skills for all of your horses that are connected to the wagon. So if you want to see how your horses are improving, you can check them all like that. Skipping cutscenes has been reduced from 3 seconds to 1.2 seconds. You can report whispers now if you want. And then beyond that guys, nothing else too crazy with this patch. So again, big stuff is all of the summertime events, and now is your turn to let me know what you think down below. Are you excited for any of these events? Looking forward to any of them? Let me know down below. As always, guys, I thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.